Well, hey there and welcome, my friends. Do you even know how powerful you are? How incredibly powerful you are? Lisa here from Lisa Augustine Glacier Coaching. And, you know, sometimes we forget. We forget our incredible authority. We start thinking that, that life is happening at us and to us when really the attitude of oh, life is happening for me, can be incredibly empowering. Easy? I don't know. Maybe, maybe over time, it will become second nature. But if you always say it's going to be hard to think that way, and so it is, it will always be hard to think that way. It might not be second nature in the beginning, but it can become something of a way of thinking all the time. You recalibrate through the neuroplasticity of the of the brain. You are able to recalibrate the energies, recalibrate your ways of thinking. And maybe it would become easy to think, okay, so life is happening for me and not just to me. I am nobody's victim. I am not being bullied. For me personally, the idea of being someone's, you know, those little metal uh, pinballs in the arcade machines. I can't imagine feeling like I was one of those pinballs and I have in my life. And what worked for me was understanding that I might not have control of somebody else's behavior or control of say what the government is telling me or to do or, or control of, um, how my children are behaving or control over a health is issue, okay? But I do have the power and authority to choose my attitude in that situation. A at my level of consciousness, I have the power and authority to choose my attitude in response to the situation. Viktor Frankl, uh, was an uh, Holocaust survivor, and he wrote Man's Search for Life. And he said this, and I, I want to quote it. So he says this, Everything can be taken from a man but one thing. The best of the human freedoms. To choose one's attitude in a given set of circumstances to choose one's own way. You have the power and authority to choose how you will react, believe, think about a situation. That's a lot. Eleanor Roosevelt says, nobody can make you feel anything without you giving them permission in some way, shape, or form. So if you walk around going, hey, that person made me feel that way. Mm, this is hard to hear, but the fact of the matter is you allowed them to make you feel that way. Nobody can make you feel anything without you giving them permission. Now, the fact of the matter is you might get triggered, but triggering, a trigger trauma response can be helpful for knowing what uh, energetic vibration, what trauma exists within your physiology so that you can move it and recalibrate. This is heavy stuff, big stuff today. I'm so thankful that you are with me on this ABCs of self-care. Today was the letter I for intentional living. To live with intention, not like somebody's bully victim dance, not like you're being pushed and shoved around and you don't have any say in the matter. Hmm. To a big degree, that may very well be the case, but you do have a choice on how you react in the midst of it all. You are deeply loved. We are deeply loved. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.